All of the clips, content, and media used in this video are used in conjunction with legal fair use of copyrighted materials for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. I do not claim copyright ownership of any of the copyrighted materials. Thank you. But to magnify something means to what? Make it larger. <laughs> Increase the space. So he, That's the Okay, so he is confusing magnify with magnetize. Magnetism with magnification. Magnify means to make things bigger, too. To magnetize, that's what magnets do. The work of radiation. That's what Walter Russell was talking about all those years. The entire two-dimensional plane, the Euclidean space that we live on, that we try and define curved nature by two-dimensional space, and we never include the curvature, the breeze. What, what is he talking about? Because there is two-dimensional Euclidean space, but there's also three-dimensional Euclidean space. The platonic solids, the things that he ran on and on about, that, that honestly, I'll, I'll tell you straight up, nobody else cares. Actual mathematicians, nobody cares about the, platon the platonic solids. It, they're not a big deal. Like, you can make dice out of them, cool. Uh, they're not very important. And that those are not even in two-dimensional Euclidean space. They're in three-dimensional Euclidean space. They're three-dimensional objects. And now he's claiming that all of everything that we know is two-dimensional. And you know what's the worst two-dimensional thing? Those things that are, are three-dimensional that also bother me. I can talk about it, but I can show you even better. What is this other gentleman's name again? Walter Russell. Walter Russell. Walter Russell's <laughs> version of the periodic table. Oh, you mean uh, that dude that he basically stole his entire theory, his entire book, The Universal One? Um, and by the way, Walter Russell was not a scientist. He was a pseudoscientist and a, a painter. Yeah, I think he made portraits. I, I don't Again, just like, it's exactly like Terrence Howard. He's an actor. You know, he's in the arts. The fine arts, I guess. You know, and I don't know. I mean, I, I Hustle and Flow was pretty good. Um, I never really saw Empire. Um, I never, I, I don't like superhero movies, so I didn't see Iron Man. You know, you can criticize me for that if you want, but. I've never really seen him, like, in a good movie or, you know, doing a good job in an acting role. And that's his entire thing. But so let's let, he'll have be let's let him have that. You know, he's great. I'll give him this. He's great at memorizing. He loves memorizing stuff. He probably, you know, knows his lines really well. He memorized the square root of two, the cube of the square root of two, like to like. 20 digits for no reason whatsoever. Because um, I guess because rattling off digits, he thinks makes him sound smart. Uh, it just makes him sound like an idiot, actually. And he keeps saying all oh, the platonic solids are these uh, approximations. When you rattle off those digits, you're making an approximation. Like, that's why I don't like to use the digits. I just say square root of two. You know, 1.414, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's an approximation. Stop using approximations, Terry. You said you don't like them, so don't use them. How is Walter Russell's version of the periodic table perceived by people who study this? Well, now everyone wants to use it. If you can go to my, in my book, there's a, there's a picture of <laughs> Einstein. Now everyone wants to use his periodic table. I've, I've never even seen or heard of it besides when Terrence Howard stole it for his book. His stupid book. Reading Walter Russell's first book, um, second book, The Universal One. And one of the quotes that Walter Russell, that um, Einstein says on his deathbed, I should have spent more time reading Walter Russell's work. There's no way. There's no way that's true. Somebody, come on, in the comments, please. Somebody refute that. Please cite where that is completely a he, he either quotes stuff from, like, before Christ, like, before the Common Era, or he quotes things from, like, the 1600s. And I'm telling him, like, there's there's still a lot of developments being made in chemistry and physics. And, you know, we've, we've come a long way since then, Terry. Just because you've got, you know, your head in the sand or... Um, there's a lot going on. 
in modern chemistry and physics and computer science, especially in artificial intelligence. And I, you know what? There's a lot of artificial intelligence um, being used to make uh, videos that make you look like you know what the hell you're talking about when you really don't. A lot of stuff's happening, Terry. So, like, you should probably get with the times. Everyone understood that nothing just, something doesn't come out of nothing. It's like when you look at the air, it looks clear, but you change the pressure condition. We call that condensation. It creates clouds. Whether it's moving quickly or slowly, it's going to become <laughs> snow, it's going to become rain, it's going to become <laughs> hell. So everything comes down to... Hey, he's a weatherman now. Either you're breathing in and filling up something, or you're pouring it out. But the scientists, they ignored Walter Russell. No, I had to get like a, a, a thing for this microphone because apparently I breathe too loudly. Watching part six of my Oxford series and I was like, man, I sure do breathe a lot. I think the, the microphone's game is probably just a little too high. And again, I don't have one of those things. What are they called? Pop filter, like a, a, a gate on the mic or whatever. Again, I'm not a YouTuber. I just do this for fun. Um, but yeah, apparently like my breathing was annoying. So it's work because he didn't include any equa equations inside of it. He, he talked philosophically. Reg so, so Walter Russell's book was a philosophy book then. Okay, cool. So call it that. It's not science. If it didn't use any equations, then it wasn't science. I think that's pretty... If you write a science book and you don't use a single equation in it, 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 it probably sucks. Speaking of books that suck, I think he's about to get into his book that sucks. He based things based on let's explore them naturally, and that's what I did with my book once. Mm -hmm. um, if you could go to my book, tcotlc.com. Oh, please. please, please, please bring up the book. There's an example that I put in there, um, Fundamentals. <laughs> If you could possibly pull that up, Jamie. Yeah. Pull it up. T-C-O-T-L-C. Yeah. yeah, you know what that stands for? The truth of... What is it? It's called uh, the Church of Truth, Love, and Consciousness. T-C-O-T... The Church... The, so the is part of it. T-C-O, the Church of... Truth, love, and consciousness. That's his church, apparently. Um, so he can avoid paying taxes. Because rich people don't like to do that. You know? It's too much of a hassle. Plus, you know, when the bank comes back and they're like, Hey, I'm sorry, Mr. Howard, but today, like, they said a penny times a penny was a, was just a, a, a dime. <laughs> uh, I would love to be his accountant, you know? You, you, I would be just rolling in the dough. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Howard, that today the bank said a dime times a dime equals a, uh, a dollar. <laughs> it was a, a penny squared. <laughs> he does not understand money. It's hilarious. Um, but yeah, so like of all the, the bad, the things that you could just hate about him, he uh, hits women, he lies to children, he is a complete delusional narcissist. Uh, you know, I'm not a doctor. I don't diagnose, but there you go. And a liar, um, a con man, a scam artist. I said he should run for office, really. Like, you know, he should he should run for office because he would fit right in uh, in Washington. Dot com. You'll see in there the mistake that they made because they believe. In... <laughs> you will see. You'll see some stuff in there. I, I plan to actually deep dive this soon. Uh, but it's so... It's a lot like Terrence Howard. It's, it's dense. And, uh... <laughs> um, it's... Oh, my God. Like, I, went, I got to page one. And I was going to do, like, a debunk video. And I was like, this is... There's no way. There's no way. It's just, it's just too much. Uh, but I'll do it in, in those segments, I guess. The math, at least. The math I can do. The math, that's what my specialty is. Straight lines. 
because the church was promoting the idea of straight lines. Yeah, just tap on right oh, below the there. That was a Yep. Download. No, just go to. You know what's funny about this? It's actually really hard to access his book online. Like, if you go to his website, uh, the, the whole church of whatever, TCO, the church of, the church of THC. <laughs> um, it's act that's this is so hilarious to watch in person because it's it i went to the website recently because i was trying to like locate his book again uh you know to download it and it's so difficult you have, you go on the website and you're like am i on the right page is this you know uh and you have to click on this this thing and it says the name of his grandiose uh magnum opus which is called one times one equals two like spelled out written on words like that's literally the name of his book one times one equals two and it's difficult to access it like it's confusing and um <laughs> it, this is so funny to watch in person to the center of the page and right above that and you see initial public draft just tap on it on the right side of the page, right there, on the left side of the page, you'll see the five platonic solids. Now these, all of our axioms, all of our postulates have been built off of these things. This is what Euclid went down to. Okay, that's absolutely untrue. This is getting pretty long. So uh, let's, uh, let's revisit this a little bit later. Thanks everyone for your support. Uh, I got a lot more subscribers. Because of Joe Rogan, actually, and because of Terrence Howard and what a lunatic he is, um, stay tuned.